Hey, Kevin Underwood here. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to take a minute and recap my experience from the delivery of my new 2018 Tesla Model S. I picked it up on October 29th. Today is November 9th, and so far I have been the driver behind the entire customer experience. It has been uh, disappointing, to say the least. I'm not happy. Uh, the car is nowhere near what I would expect to have received from the amount of money that I spent on it. So let me dive in. Um, I've gone over all these things with Tesla service. I've gone all of these over all these things with customer service. I've reached out to the executive team. But so first of all, I was I was set up for a 2:15 appointment on Monday, the 29th of October, and. I got there early and was told that we should be right on time, no problem, that the traffic was light that day and everything was going as scheduled, which was nice to hear, but when I got to it, it was actually about 2.25, 2.30 by the time we actually started, which was okay, um, that, end, that whatever. I walked up to the car and the first thing I noticed was that it hadn't been washed. The tires weren't polished, in fact, there was about a six inch uh, residue of it having been sitting in dirty water. Now Austin had been flooding and they were under a water ban so I understand them not being able to wash it at the de at the detail department or where whatever they have at the service center but that they didn't send it out somewhere to get that taken care of to me is unacceptable. I mean I live in Round Rock 25 minutes away from Austin and there was no water ban. Everything you know, all the water works. They could have easily taken it to a detailer up there since they were sitting on the car for a few days. Um, number two, it wasn't fully charged. I had to take it, I had to actually spend an hour at a charge at the supercharger station to get it up to 90%. Uh, in addition to, in addition to that, there's a dent in the rear bumper that I noticed almost right away. There's scratches in the side mirror on the driver's side. And there's scratches on the hood, there's a scratch in the lift gate, and there's a, a dent in the bumper cover on the driver's side between the left two sensors. I was told that the detailers and the body shop would reach out so that we could get those issues corrected, and that I needed to take the next 72 hours and just document the other issues that may or may not uh, show up on the car. Um, so, I've, dr I've driven now 830 miles. I was told that it would take a little bit for the sensors to calibrate so that the autopilot would work. I didn't realize that, well, I thought that cruise control was a part of that. But once I hit 50 miles an hour, cruise control still didn't work. I have 830 miles on it and still no cruise. And certainly no autopilot, of course. I've been on the phone for three plus hours with Tesla service, Tesla support. I've emailed. Um, so far, like I said, I'm driving the experience. I'm not getting calls back. The only person that has reached back out to me and been supportive is David uh, in the out of the Utah Customer Service Center. He's taken ownership of my customer experience and I wanna know that I, I really appreciate what he's done. That being said, whoever responded to me, Matt from the executive email response team, emailed and, and just confirmed that I had an appointment set for the 14th. Now. When I went in to have them address the issues that I've been experiencing, the soonest that they had was the 14th and they didn't offer me a loaner. I'm just supposed to drive a dirty, non-detailed, dented, scratched, brand new Tesla for 14 days. To me, that doesn't seem right. I imagine I'd probably get a lot better service spending the same amount of money with just about any other dealership in the world. But Tesla doesn't apparently think so up to this point. Uh, I mentioned that I had to drive to a supercharger. I did, while I was going there on the highway, I noticed that there was a pretty severe wind noise coming from the passenger side. My thinking was it was from the top um, glass or from the window. I rolled up the window, I rolled it down, I rolled it up again, it was, the wind noise was still there. When I got to the supercharger, I got out and, and put my, ran my finger along the top glass and discovered really quickly that 
it waves in in and out so on the passenger side it actually bumps up a little bit but then over on the driver side it actually dips down below the front windscreen so it's a defective warped piece of glass that ought to be fixed when i when i went to the service center to have my tire pressure light figured out that's when we set up the appointment for the 14th i had a tech ride around with me he said it was a small triangle window which is fine and then he also said that taking off this top glass is a pretty invasive process and requires that they cut it all out i just bought this car i don't really want it to be cut up if it's defective then i i don't really want it in addition to that just thinking about the rear bumper cover and bodywork i i don't want a car where the paint doesn't match but that might be what they try to get me to deal with I, i'm just I was super excited to get this car, and since I've owned it, I'm, I honestly couldn't be more disappointed. This is, this is ridiculous, almost laughable. It's ridiculous. There's a cut on the in interior seat for the passenger side. You can see these little cuts, and, uh, It's just been super frustrating. Oh, and then the other day, two days ago, I get a call from the Texas DMV. They sent me this, um, they sent me an email with this, so I get to print this out, but what they inform me of is that the license plate that Tesla put on my car is actually a duplicate license plate from a stolen vehicle. So unbeknownst to me, I could have been pulled over and actually put in jail because of how they delivered the car to me. So, suffice it to say, I am unhappy. This is unacceptable. Um, in addition to all the stuff I've already mentioned, there's so many little stupid things. The gasket on the passenger side rear window is stretched and it doesn't seal properly. Uh, the, the car is just, the car is just so, uh, it's been it's just been so frustrating so hopefully i can get some help again thanks for watching i hope to hear something soon